are watching. With over 1,700 high-rise buildings, of which 153 are skyscrapers, it's without a doubt Bangkok has one of the most jaw-dropping skylines of any city. However, nestled in the midst of this concrete labyrinth are some very peculiar-looking buildings, unlike anywhere else. So buckle up as we explore together some of the quirkiest-looking buildings in all of Bangkok. Deeply rooted in the Thai culture is the sacred and national symbol, the white elephant, where for thousands of years, these animals have helped the Thai people with wars, labor, and transportation. You will therefore see the symbol of the white elephant making its appearance in places where you might not expect, such as on the front of one of the country's most popular beers, Chang Beer, which literally translates to elephant. However, one of the most bold appearances and one that amazes me to this day has to be the 32-story, 102-meter-tall, elephant-shaped-like building just behind me over here, known as Elephant Tower. I mean, just look at it. What on earth were they thinking? It's a huge elephant in the middle of a city that's almost a skyscraper. Elephant Tower was built in 1997 and it ranks in the top 20 iconic skyscrapers of the world by CNN Go. Got to be careful here, people. Look at this. Right, so next on the list, we've got the robot building, which we're going to head to now, which is going to take about 15 minutes to get to from the Elephant Tower. But before I wrapped up my visit at Elephant Tower, I was curious to see what would lie on the top floor, and so I went as high as a lift would take me. Right, so I'm just coming down from the 10th floor of the car park inside Elephant Tower. And look at how close my car is to that wall there. I've barely got any space on this side as well. All right. The next quirky building on the list is located in the Sathorn Business District, which houses the United Overseas Bank headquarters for Bangkok. It's also just across the road from the Mahanapon Sky Tower, the second tallest building in all of Bangkok. Right, so my plan is to go to an opposite building, which is pretty much on the same level as the eyes of the robot and get a shot from there. Holy macarons. Holy cow. Got in here pretty easy. See, the annoying thing is just behind this building over here, is the robot tower, but I can't get in that building. I tried. It's so frustrating because if this building wasn't there, I'd have a clear shot of it. That's the eye just there with the two antennas at the top. This is Mahanapon. Just look down there. I didn't know there was a pool, two pools under the Mahanapon Sky Tower. Look at that. Right, so I'm gonna try and go up there to get a shot of the robot building. Ah, oh, which is just here. Look at that. So I've actually managed to get into the building that I was saying earlier. People, I've actually made it. I've actually made it just behind me here, or in front of me, is the robot building. Brilliant. So there's actually a pool just here with the showers right here in front of the robot building. What an amazing pool though, look at that. Right in the middle of Bangkok. Mahana Pond is just there. The W Hotel is just over there. Floor number 38. 38 floor. Another rooftop. Where's the robot? <laughs> there it is. Hello, Mr. Robot Building. Okay, let me interrupt the video. I've got to say, 
I do put a lot of effort into making these videos, so if you aren't subscribed, I would appreciate if you do. I put so much effort into getting the best shots for you guys at home, so the least you could do is just subscribe or maybe like that video and share it, of course. Completed in 1986 and construction costing approximately $10 million, the robot building bears an uncanny resemblance to the Walt Disney character Wally. It was designed for the Bank of Asia, which is now owned by the United Overseas Bank, to reflect the computerization of banking, with the architect Samut Jumsai drawing inspiration from his child's robot toy. This rather retro and outdated looking building consists of 20 floors that decrease in floor space as you go up. The building's 6 meter diameter lidded eyeballs and antennas not only contribute to the robotic appearance, but are also functional as the eyes serve as windows for the executive suite at the top, while the two antennas are used for communications and as a lightning conductor. Oh, did I forget to mention that the building at one point in time had the largest nuts measuring at 3.8 meters in diameter. You see, I was just up there on that little balcony. So right next to the robot building, we've got a vaccination center called Bang Rack, to which you can see a lot of Thai people waiting in line to get their vaccine. So when you're in Bangkok, you will often see high-rise buildings such as the one behind me with ascending height level patterns as such. Well, I recently found out that this isn't due to architects loving this sort of style or design, but rather it's a building code which limits the maximum height of a building. Here, let me explain. Let's say a property developer wishes to build a brand new condominium complex somewhere in Bangkok. Since land does not come cheap, a property developer will try to fit as many condominiums as they can for the given area to maximize their returns and will thus design for maximum occupancy in mind. Now, under section 44 in the ministerial regulation number 55 under the BCA, a building cannot exceed a height that is twice the horizontal perpendicular distance from the nearest road of the opposite side. So if a building is to go up that is 30 meters away from the nearest road, the maximum height to which the developer can build to is 60 meters. But with this regulation in place, developers realized if they can split a building into many vertical fragments, then as a building gets further away from the nearest road, its allowable height increases with horizontal distance. And so if the next unit is 45 meters from the nearest road, the allowable height becomes 90 meters. And you can guess what the height for the next unit will be. By splitting a building into many vertical fragments, it means that the property developers can legally fit more condominiums for the given space. Now, the only rationale for this construction regulation, I suppose, is to ensure that buildings do not totally obstruct light from reaching the road. So the next building on the list is just behind me called the G Tower, or as I like to call it, the G Spot. It stands at the intersection between Rama 9 and Ratchafisek Road. As you can see, the clouds are getting really grey. It's pretty much any minute now that it will start raining heavily. The reason for the design of the building is that the former proprietor thought it would be a good idea, for whatever reason, to make the building out of the first letter of their name, which is G Land, hence the G in the building. These days, the tower is owned by the company Central Patana, which is CPN, and they manage over 33 different shopping malls under the brands such as Central Plaza, Central World, Central Festival, and Central Village. Due to the cantilever design, as you see here, high strength steel had to be used on the top of the structure. Additionally, the South Tower, which you see here, has an eight degree slope. Raindrops are starting to fall now. Holy shit. My hat, my hat, my hat. Part of the city is pretty much gone now. I kid you not, it's like a bloody storm out here. The thing is, I can't even get to my car in this rain. So I'm gonna have to wait it out, otherwise I'm gonna get drenched. Thankfully, none of it is coming in through here. Oh my Lord, look at that. Well, there you have it, folks. I hope you found this video interesting and informative well it looks like i'm gonna have to wait under here for the rain to stop so i can get to my car so i'm gonna be wrapping up the video here unfortunately we run out of time if you enjoyed this video make sure you drop a like subscribe and share as always and let me know in the comments if you want me to make a part two 
to this series. Anyway, many thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next video. Until then, I'm out under G Tower.